Good morning or good evening or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's a beautiful winter's sunny day in Queensland at the moment. I've had to show you a little bit more about the Myford Lay, the little project I'm doing. Okay, this is the little job I'm doing and I want to be able to move this hitch here out a little bit. I don't want it straight up and down as normal. I want to elongate that hole and lift it out like so. And the way I am going to do that is what I've done on the other side is to elongate the hole, machine the, uh, machine the hole out. And the way I'm doing that is an attachment on the Myford lathe, which is this attachment here. And as you can see, we've got a milling tool in there that's designed to do exactly this job. And this is an interesting little attachment. I must admit I haven't used it before, but you can actually work it from, from all planes, in and out, up, down, rotate here for your depth, set it on an angle. Very handy little tool, um, or attachment I should say. I haven't used this before, but so far it's worked well. Okay, so there she is, clamped into place. You use these little T-bolts, they go into those slots there. So I just got two of those T-bolts there, and the next job will be now will be to actually line the device up or the tow hitch part with my boring bit. I've actually got a bit that's actually slightly smaller deliberately, so it makes it easy for me to centralize it and get it set into the correct position. So uh, getting ready, here we go. Okay, the lay is running, uh, tools lined up. I'm only taking off uh, small bites, around about 10, 15 thou at a time. Basically, a bit of oil to lubricate. Always should use some oil when you're lubricating to uh, get the job to cut cleanly. Is on. We're now running and it's really a case now I press down the self feed and <coughs> we'll let that feed through on its first cut. And there she goes. It's a very fine cut to start with for the plum strip. As you can see, it's just taken a small skim out the bottom. Uh, up here, we dial in the amount that we want. So I will dial in at least another 20, say. Finder up. Start the feed. Put it the oil. Off again, bring it off a little bit more this time. You see how handy this little attachment is on the lathe to be able to do jobs like this. Absolutely fabulous. And shut the lathe down there. And as you can see, it's cutting out nicely. So all I've got to do now is I just keep working it down until I get the required depth that I require. And that's my measurements there. I've measured the hole at 19.95, probably really 20 millimeter. So I wish to cut it out now to 26.25 millimeter to match the other side. And then I'll show you the finished job. Okay, we're still cutting. You may have noticed since my last video, I've actually put a larger uh, chuck on. Best investment I've made. Great having that larger chuck. Just makes the lathe a lot more versatile. Um, but so far, yeah, it's working down well. Um, I'll probably, if I've been taking 10s, I'll probably dial it out now to about 15. So we set our depth now to 15. Uh, got a little bit of oil in there, ready to go again. Engage clutch, engage drive, and we're away again. And there we go. 
coming for you to play. Okay, uh, I'm within 10 millimeter now. I've just dialed in 10 on the, uh, the dial there, and this actually should be the final cut. Let's so we'll fire it up. Bring up close. Engage the drive. There she goes. And we're now making our final cut. This has only taken all of about, oh, maybe 10 minutes to do. Uh, attachment is extremely handy and to do jobs like this. You can turn your market into almost a small milling lathe to a certain extent. There's some jobs you can do on it. There she is, she's screwed. And that's how uh, that should be our final cut to the depth that I'm looking for. So, uh, yeah, so basically, you can see by this unit here, you've got a the dial down here you can you can set so you can you've got all your, your angles there there's another one at the top here excuse the camera all over the place doing this with the phone and of course your main one at the top there and uh, multiple adjustments on the side for your t-pieces so uh, and very simple just slides on just that one center bolt so uh, it'll, it'll just slide into any one of these slots set the angle that you want Tighten her up, and you're ready to go. So, uh, absolutely brilliant. Shut the clutch off, and shut it down, and uh, I'll show you the finished job when I put it all together. Okay, she's all together. Perfect job. What I'm attempting to do, this is where the tow bar ball, or it's actually a pin goes on, because I use a cruise master setup. And when the back of the vehicle goes down, this pin here, basically, if you can imagine it sitting up like that, this pin ends slightly out as the vehicle loads down. So to compensate, the idea is to have that slot there and I can move that up that way to the degree of angle that I actually want. And there with me, I do have an adjusting bolt it goes through the bottom here, I've cut a thread and that will screw, as you can see, all the way through I won't bore you with going all the way through till it acts as a, a stopper and uh, I can actually control it from there and then I use these big bolts here to lock it up so it's going to work out really well I can get the exact adjustment that I'm needing whether it be halfway or all the way and then just clamp the whole thing up So. Job completed, and uh, of course, uh, thank you very much to our little tool attachment, which I've used for the first time. Um, absolutely brilliant. So uh, those of you who have a MyFed lathe, I'd highly recommend buying one of these because uh, it's amazing the jobs you can actually do with it. And of course, my, <laughs> my Chinese uh, milling bit here, which I bought from China, was rather cheap, but I must admit it's it's held up well, it's kept its edge, so it's absolutely perfect for the job that I had in mind. So yeah, very happy overall. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I did say early I was taking out 10 millimeter. It wasn't 10 millimeter, it's actually 10, 10 thou uh, basically on this little unit here. So basically from there to there, and that that gave me the, the final cut. Uh, there's a great little milling attachment, as you can see, the still nice and sharp. I did machine a, uh, a take a bit off the end, uh, fit into my drill press. I had ideas of using my drill press for this job, but the vibration was far too great. Um, so I thought, ah, we'll use the MyFit lathe. So it turned out to be absolutely perfect. The, uh, the MyFit is certainly the, the way to go. Good, sturdy lathe.